Here's a fun fact. In the comic book series Spider-Man Reign, Peter instantly kills Mary Jane because she gets exposed to radiation. Since Spider-Man can't... No, she can't say that. Uh, body fluids are radioactive. That really sucks. Spider-Man Homecoming is the first Spider-Man film to be shared with Marvel Studios and Sony. Even though I'm a massive Spider-Man fan and this was my fifth anticipated film of the year, I was a little bit sceptical these past several months. I feel like Sony has been releasing too much of the marketing with their trailers and TV spots and that was one of the major downfalls of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I was a little bit worried, is this going to be a Spider-Man film or more like an Iron Man 4? But I'm happy to say that everything turned out good. Mostly everything. Let's start with the main man himself, Tom Holland, who plays Peter Parker in Spider-Man. Tom Holland was great. He played that optimistic, enthusiastic, little naive Spider-Man that we grew up from the comics. And that awkward teenager of Peter Parker was really well handled. John Watts found a way to capture the essence of the theme of a John Hughes film. You could tell they took things from films like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and The Breakfast Club and it really works in this film. And it really makes it stand out from other Spider-Man films. By now we should be sick of them but thanks to Marvel and John Watts we want more Spider-Man. And I really like that direction they're going with this Spider-Man franchise. And it was very subtle, it's not in your face compared to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And it was nice to go back to a smaller movie format since the last three films were very big with their action and storytelling. Most of the cast is pretty likeable. The only two I really couldn't get down with was Tony Rarololi who plays Flash Thompson. I found him really incredibly annoying. And Laura Harrier, funny enough, who plays Liz Allen, she was more as a plot device rather than a love interest for Peter Parker. But apart from that, I really liked everyone. Ned, played by Jacob Batalon, was a really fleshed out high school teenage character. Like, proper genuine. It was nice to see Happy Hogan again, played by Jon Favreau. And Robert Dan Jr. as Tony Stark Iron Man was very subtle. He's not in the film that much, about probably about 15 minutes to 20 minutes of screen time. But he was great. They were more like a um, mentor and apprentice relationship, more like, and then a father and son relationship. But what more can I say? He's always great. He's been great for the nine years. He was born to play Iron Man. What, what else could I say? He's Robbie Downey Jr. Michael Keaton as the Vulture was so good. My favourite thing about this film. And that's so ironic because Marvel do suck with their villains most of the time. Is it me or does Michael Keaton have a thing for flying creatures? Michael Keaton as the Vulture was excellent. His motivation was great, his acting was insane. My favourite scene in this film is on their way to the homecoming dance and Vulture finds out that Peter is actually Spider-Man and he threatens him. One of the best acting scenes in any MCU movie ever. My main problem with Spider-Man Homecoming is that they played it too safe. They didn't go all in. It was very safe, it was very secured. The finale was very anticlimactic. The action was very underwhelming. If this was seven months ago, I would have been disappointed. But luckily, I lowered my expectations, so I was happy with the film. But nothing apart from the vulture, nothing blew my expectations. For my final third, Spider-Man Homecoming is the first good step to potential great Spider-Man films. I'm infested with this franchise, but compared to other Spider-Man films, this definitely feels a lot more smaller. So I'm going to give it a 7 point out of 10. I prefer the first two Sam Raimi films, but it's a lot more better than the last three Spider-Man films. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know, what did you think of Spider-Man Homecoming? And what is your favourite scene? Go like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I got your back.